Uh, we passed that out of the Senate last year. Um, the, the bill that you're referring to. Uh, it did not pass in the House. Uh, to me, one of the most uh, interesting things about that bill is that what it allowed us to do was to pivot, and uh, Director Levy mentioned this before, uh, it moved those folks into private health insurance where we have the opportunity to then also incentivize healthier behavior um, and do a lot of the things that we've talked about that ultimately we need to do within the, you know, preventative care, a lot of the things that we know reduce costs long term. And so, um, you know, getting into a broader discussion of where we need to go and sort of talking about that pivot, Director, you mentioned this, is that right now, we know one of the bills that I'm most proud of is that we're going to have all Medicaid claims now. Uh, we'll be working with Director Levy on what this looks like. But all Medicaid claims, a bill that I tacked on to a House bill, all Medicaid claims will now be posted online. So you will not, now the information is de-identified, but you'll be able to see what the service was and what it cost. We're the first state in the country to do that, um, which sounds nuts. But the truth is, nobody, um, unless you work there, knows what a service, when you go to a hospital, they don't know what it costs and they don't know the quality. To me, that is unacceptable. Um, we know we buy a couch or television or whatever we're purchasing. We do research, we know we can compare it to something, and we make educated decisions in the marketplace. We don't have that information right now. Um, we also need to, you know, there are companies, I've visited a company you know, with this 2020 committee out in Kansas City, CERN. They, uh, they give a 10% discount on their premiums if you keep the same body mass index from one year to the next. They also, um, and you know, you can talk about if HSAs are the easiest things to navigate through right now, but the first, in that marketplace, the first $2,000 of that employee's money, that during the course of the year, they're spending the same amount on health care, but that first two grand is theirs. And so what that means is, when they go to the pharmacy, which they have in-house, they make a decision between a $90 name brand prescription in the $5 generic. Well, all of a sudden, if that's your money, you start making different decisions. And in the macro, we make different decisions. That's one of the ways that we've been the cost curve uh, dramatically long term. But so, roundabout way to get back, uh, one of the interesting things about that bill, again, that we passed out of the Senate was it allowed us to move into those sorts of uh, ways of ultimately controlling costs, um, which I thought was a, a worthy endeavor.